Over 260 stories recorded of MLP fan fiction. Nearly 2 million words read on one podcast by one bro, me. Welcome to Mystery Pony Fiction, your one-stop shop for pony music videos, comic narrations, random 15.8 eye experiments, but mostly high-quality fan fiction audiobooks. Featuring music and sound effects that bring them to a level well beyond the simple reading. She had got 43 ponies, 18 cows, 11 pigs, and 3 goats into various little-use spaces in the castle. Including the content only available on platforms other than YouTube, there are approximately 300 total readings of short stories and chapters of novels recorded. For you to listen to on the go, when your eyes are tired. The mystery Fluttershy fan has been making this content for years on a former channel that got shut down by YouTube for content that was too hot! So that is now available as a podcast on Libsyn, as well as a podcast on Anchor that is staying as safe for work as the YouTube channel is. Many of these fan fictions are meant for adult bronies and not children, but many are suitable for any age and are inconvenient playlists to leave for every pony, cheap for teen and then for mature. So close your eyes and get comfortable as an Aussie narrator reads your favorite bedtime stories. Um, crikey. Voices generated by 15.ai. Don't worry, you won't hear me say GAY! Oops. If one of you Nimbicum Poop says gay. one more freaking time, I swear in my former gay. Queen's gay. that I'm not going to command my gay. Changeling Kingdom to burn down this gay. pony land in a gay. fashion. Low battery, 2% battery remaining. All four of Sweetie Bowl's legs suddenly went limp and she fell forward and flattened her stomach like a rag doll. Low power mode, limb movement, and organic movement mimicry system are disabled to conserve power. No! Sweetie Belle muttered. Under the sea. Hey. Under the sea. Under the sea. At the beautiful sunny shore in the light sea. Baby, I'm free! As Anon sang, Twilight could swear on Celestia's large bubble butt that she could hear ethereal voices singing alongside Anon. Good, then you won't mind if I do this. She dropped the cans to the ground and raised the can opener in her hoof. Sunny, no, not in my bedroom. Zip shouted in horror, and Sunny began stabbing several of the cans open. I'm sure if you just explained why you like, I can never show my face anywhere ever again. Unless, unless we have him locked away in the dungeons before he can talk. Pip is, is that pineapple on your pizza? The lights dimmed, and the various filmmaking factoids faded out to the Lighthouse Entertainment intro slate. Three billion equine lives ended on August 29, 3997. The survivors of the nuclear fire called the war Judgment Day. They lived only to face a new nightmare, the war against the machines. In the distance, thunder grumbled, a distant echo of the uncertainty churning within her. As the rain intensified, so did the storm within Izzy. She wrestled her emotions like a tempest at sea, questioning the very foundation of her perpetual smile. Of all the worst things that could happen today, this is the worst possible. Thing. <laughs>